This shit crazy, y'all. This shit bugged out. First of all, RIP DMX. I'm gonna wait till a little more people get in here and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna chop this up with y'all once, you know. Uh, <laughs> you seen that? <laughs> he took the video down. <laughs> Yo, the truth hurts, bro. That's crazy, bro. I owe you, I owe you 43 minutes. Actually, I, I just put up a video and he took it down. Why you get my video reported? I just could go back live right now. Nigga has stopped me from going live, bro. Let me let me just say this for y'all, bro. Some of y'all don't really understand the fact that some people are smart enough to know that the majority of the people that, you know, watch videos and stuff, they don't check for no proof. So they think that just talking for an hour is proof. The only proof that he showed in that video was that he actually called me. He didn't show no text messages, no screenshot. I put all the text messages, all the screenshots, and lined up everything they said next to each other, bro. The shit makes, now it's like, oh, nigga went and deleted that shit. <laughs> the first couple minutes. First couple minutes. Why you delete my video? I ain't report your video. That's what I mean. That nigga's a rat, bro. That nigga's a straight rat. That nigga, a whole video talking about my PO. Who does that? Who makes a PO a, a issue for the world? That's not shit real niggas do. Like, you you trying to get people violated? Why would you talk about somebody's probation officer? You want them to possibly see this and, and get upset? Like, what are you trying to accomplish? You don't talk about, I don't do that. I've never done that. You know what I'm saying? That shit is real sloppy and crazy. You know what I mean? But you've made that an issue to the world. You know what I'm saying? And when I, I, I did a, purposely, I did a blog. I came one day. Came right back and reacted with the truth, man. No no seasoning on it. Just from my heart speaking. And putting the the things that I've done on that league on there. You know what I'm saying? I put everything in there. You know what I'm saying? So I don't I don't know. I don't know what what paperwork? What what paperwork? What are you talking about? I don't know what paperwork. All I know is I got all my paperwork for my case. All I know is you see, when I put a blog up, he, he, he reports it. <laughs> so he can leave that narrative up. He a cop, bro. That nigga's a cop, bro. Cut it out. He said, Jones, I'm a fan of from Jersey. Cut it out. What you want me to cut out, bro? He made it seem like you down talked him, but not once did I hear you down talk him. Bro, everything I said was literally in defending my own honor, man. If y'all want me to just let niggas talk about me and look like a lame-ass nigga, that's, that's fine, y'all. But unfortunately, that's not the case, bro. As you can see, what's lame is niggas that report people, dry snitch, you really just mad because I'm getting this bag over here. You wanted me to be your guy, and now I got, you know, I'm, I'm in another situation, and you're really salty. This whole, I'm in cahoots and all that, I showed the proof in the video that just got took it down. I showed the text message that said when my PO text me, the 22nd. That was six days, excuse me, four days before I met him. That was four days before Friday. I called you right away. On Friday, you said no, and I'll give you 24 hours. If you look at the can of you, which I also chopped and put in there right after, right after you, K says, you said you was gonna give me 24 hours. Matter of fact, let's do it this way. Then the next day, K saying, but this is this is this is the uh you can't ever rock with RB. Fuck RBE. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? I got three battles on them. One is gyms and and, and and one is math. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about RBE. Them niggas ain't lit. Like, let's be real. I've been wanting to battle on Smack. I tell Ask Beasley. I've been on Beasley's bumper. Like, my nigga, what's up? Bro? Why y'all niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't want to battle on RBE, but I'm going to turn down his bread. I'm going to turn down bands. Over 10 bands, over 20 bands. I'm going to turn that down. Nah, but I should have, apparently, because I knew this nigga was a fucking bird. 
Like, this is crazy. And I mean, this shows me that a lot of y'all really don't even fuck with me like that. Because y'all niggas really believed them. I really jumped out the window. But let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all something. All right? All those, all those jump out the windowers that really believed this guy and, and thought that, you know what I'm saying, Jones is in here capping. Let me show y'all. All right? Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Oh boy. Let me show y'all. Okay. Well, I just saw um the blog, which which we all knew was inevitable. I mean we all knew it, right? I told myself um I wasn't even gonna indulge or go back and forth. Yeah, it was a haymaker until you hear the truth. Of disrespect, of course, and uh just the audacity, bro. I'm gonna address this short and sweet. First of all, screen recorded. I don't. I don't understand what would someone have to gain in informing somebody something that could possibly negatively affect their own money. What would I have to gain in letting him know that I have a possible PO situation and it could be a problem? What would I have to gain by that? Now, if he's trying to drag and people are trying to drag the narrative that. Oh, this was a plan the whole time, and oh, URL must have gotten my ear and swayed me to not make the money I need to make when I first come home from jail, which, mind you, was shorts. Because as this man says, and I'm afraid to take. But if you think you want to run around, it's not my bad. I don't give a fuck what you do. I don't care about you. He doesn't care about me. It doesn't matter the fact that we've been doing business. We've had all kinds of conversations and I've given him the best performances that I possibly could. One that he says is classic in his own words, ill will. Salmon on a yacht and I done ate tuna in the can. But I ain't a legend because of what I did. I'm a legend because of who I am. Nigga, I love it. I think I'm worried about him calling me a bum? Look where I'm at, nigga. In the studio, bro. Even the, gym, the gym's battle on the rounds I Our studio. Was, was bars that was some of Madness bars. Time to get the ball crank. There's nothing on my pit, but that's the learning tree. Time I put your medulla on the Tims. Niggas like, oh, hold up. It's the learning tree. Time I put your medulla on your Tims. Niggas like, what Jones be doing, Jim's gonna do that shit to him. Same bitch in the DM tomorrow, like, I knew that you would win. I say, bitch, he wasn't with me shooting at the gym. <laughs> to a guy that I've never even heard of, right? It's all right. I've, I've adapted to do business with this man knowing he's a clown, knowing that everyone else has ever dealt with him on my level, that's, <laughs> that's from where, you know what I mean? They say, that boy's a weirdo. So once again, ARP took a small portion of what I said, created his formula so he can make a narrative that, hey, you know, you two don't make, no, no, no. And if y'all can't understand, if I understand it's hard to read through the lines sometimes when you don't, you know what I mean, know people in real life and personally, but let's look at the reality. What type of man, first of all, not even, not even talking about street nigga or this, I say the words or say I'm a real nigga because I pride myself on trying to do the right thing. Not on trying to be a street guy, trying to be a gangster, trying to be a tough guy. When do y'all see me rap like that or act like that? Normally I'm smiling, having a good time. Even when I was talking about you because leagues, excuse me, not leagues, even when I was talking about you because publications and media outlets, when they see tweets that look like, oh, wait a minute, this don't look right. ARP's tweeting that he backed out. Jones is over here saying that he didn't back out. Hold up, we got to get this guy up here and interview him. But go ahead, who first? It's not me having no campaign to slander you. What do I care about doing that for? I just came home from jail from almost doing life, my nigga. And you think I'm going to come home and be on some fuck shit? For what? And for you to have the audacity to even speak, I knew, I knew it. I knew you was going to take this whole angle, yo. If he's not seeing his daughter, then how could he travel? I knew he was going to have the audacity to speak on my daughter. First of all, do you even have kids? We don't know nothing about you besides you a fucking guy that sits at a desk with glasses on talking about your feelings about battle rap and people and everything else. Yeah, you give us battles because you're paying people to battle. 
Anybody that is consistent enough in paying battle rappers can put on battles. But the problem is, you say I'm hard to deal with, then why have you been dealing with me? Why have you been continuously dealing with me? But what I'm going to do is, I, I don't understand what's wrong with people where they think they could just create a narrative and that y'all are dumb enough to just go with it, like no matter what. I don't, y'all don't see blogs for me. When have y'all saw me trying to create any narrative, negative or positive? I'm here to rap, yo. I'm not here for this. But let's deal with this. What type of man publicly makes somebody's PO a discussion? You trying to get me violated? You gonna say that I told you something negative about my PO, bro? That's what you gonna say? What PO will tell a new release Go where you're not supposed to go as long as you don't get arrested. That's a horrible PO. <laughs> you gonna say to other businesses wow. you shouldn't do business with them because y'all don't get see in this shit. With the authorities. But if you wanna run around these leagues, I think everybody should be very careful because I have experienced seeing that. Dry you know, snitch. Use these platforms and these leagues and these events. To authorities. Drive court. That's what you're trying to do. Trying to dry stitch me out of the bag that you know I'm about to get, huh? Anybody that doesn't get how parole and probation and, and legal legality works, a league owner doesn't get in trouble for someone going where they're not supposed to go. That's it's not a thing. They will call him, oh, you let a parolee battle? Oh, well, yeah, you aided a, and abetted a parolee. Yep, you are shutting your league down. Like, what? This had nothing to do with you, brother. This was about me and me trying to be respectful and courteous to somebody that has given me a lot of bread. You took that and tried to throw me under the bus and you're still trying, but it doesn't work. This was sad and I, I, I'm gonna put it together for y'all so y'all can see it because he's actually, he's a good talker. He knows how to spin your mind away from the, from the points, right? The point here is, it's not about your, it's all about you to you, bro. Your event and the way you need, I understand that. But to us, to us of the culture, the people that do this, we try and accommodate the whole. I've been in situations where Smack, other league owners know that they have issues with people that's battling and they try to work through it with them because you respect Just wait, you're gonna find out all of this, bro. It's all in here. Has paid over almost half of $100,000? You've already given me that. I, I still, I still don't have your respect. I still don't have the respect for you to just keep your word. Um, Beacon, I could just call her cell phone. Mind you, this is somebody he's saying in interviews just popped up. He just finally found out a PO is on him now. Pew, pew. Right, yeah, you can get her on the phone anytime. A Beacon, she's working for you and all that type of shit. Look, I never had a PO before. I will put this on here just so y'all can see. Check the date. Check the date. Four days earlier. Look. This is what's crazy. You don't even realize you March just told yourself, bro. Hold on. Let me you put just that back. said, K said Let me put that, that you was giving me 24 hours, hours right? And I remember AIP saying, I got to give him like 24 hours. Hold up, hold up. Let's, let's go back. Not that far back, but hold up. Yeah, why it's not going up? Ah, gonna make me play the whole shit again. Damn it. Hold up, y'all. Hold up, y'all. It's y'all. getting hot in here. Adam, All right, there we go. There we go. Oh, Adam. Oh, you just told on your own self. Phone, anytime, the weekend, she's working for okay. you. Know, there we shit. go. Look, I never had a PO before. I will put this. There we go. Cause I'm lying about this PO shit, right? I just I just made that up, right? Here go the text. Like everything is proof, man. This shit crazy. It's on here, just so y'all can see. Check the date. Check the date. See that? Look. This is what's crazy. First you don't contact. Even realize you just told on your own self, bro. You just said K said 
That you was giving me 24 hours, right? I remember ARP saying. Wait, you see what he just said? So wait, am I lying? Wait. You just said you're not giving it to me. You just you told. Y'all niggas is so like this. Is what I mean about common sense. Y'all still, y'all still hearing the comments tweeting. Oh, so you just found out out the blue? I just showed you. I just showed you the first text, the first contact I ever made with that person. You know what I'm saying? It's not like why would I make this up? I don't. I don't understand people. Y'all niggas seen me for 20 years, and y'all think all of a sudden I'ma just make up weird shit? Like, y'all weirdos for that. You just told on your own self, bro. You just said- I hey, didn't have a PO until that, that day, genius. You 24 hours, right? And I remember ARP saying, I gotta give him like 24 Yeah, he about to flag this. <laughs> you just said you're not giving it to me. You just- You, you see that? Was our whole you see that? I'm not giving you 24 hours. Yes or no by tonight. You said you're not giving me 24 hours, and then you continued to promote the battle. But when you promoted the battle, you weren't just promoting the battle and saying, oh, stay tuned, new development. Oh, we got a surprise for y'all coming. Oh, don't worry, something's different, but you're going to love it. You didn't say none of that. You posted the flyer, and people were tweeting and, and Instagramming me, saying, yo, we're going to be there. As y'all can see, it was a whole lot going on on Twitter, right? Here he is hitting me saying that because it, something comes back my way. I don't, I don't know why he tried to turn this into a vendetta when I was just trying to let all these people know that was in tune that, yo, look, sorry, I ain't going to be able to rock. You know what I'm saying? I didn't say it was his fault. I didn't say whose fault it was. I left it up in the air. But he had to take it there anyway. I didn't want it to be nobody's fault. I tried to leave it Come nobody's on, fault. I respect my fans too much. I see how you left out the whole thing too. If you ain't want me to say nothing until until Friday, until the face off, your exact words. Just don't say nothing to the face off because I already gave you a deposit. Let's talk about that. This man, knowing that I just came home from jail, knowing how much he paid me the last time, and of course he's gonna try to justify and say, "Oh, well, I didn't even make my money back because you was goofy enough to do a battle between Sirius Jones and Math Hoffa." in fucking Atlanta at the last minute instead of doing it in New York City instead of doing it in Jersey instead of doing it where you know you could have had a crowd turnout and your pay-per-view and it would have been litty but no you thought you were such a nerd and got it figured out so well that you wanted to do it somewhere where I was against and the same thing that you talking about me being difficult to deal with this is what I, I'm about maximizing what we do I didn't want to do that battle in Atlanta and you, oh, you being difficult. I'm, I didn't. I wanted you to make money, nigga. I wanted everybody to make money. But because of the fact that you such a fucking weirdo and a groupie, you just wanted that battle so bad that you paid me an arm and a leg, knowing that shit ain't even... <laughs> but thank you. Thank you. I appreciated your money. I've always appreciated your money. I appreciated you as a human being, even though I knew you were a weirdo, until I see your true colors. You don't care about me, as you said, which is why you try to slander me. Instead of take the brunt and say, yes, I'm the one that made the decision to cancel the Sirius Jones battle because he told me he had an issue with his PO, and I didn't want it to be an issue. So I didn't give him a chance. All that's coming, y'all. All that's coming. I told you Watch. I'm it right now. All right? That's what you did. It's more. It's time, more. Did you see what Kay just said? Kay just said... That you said you were gonna give me 24 hours. I gotta give him like 24 hours so he's supposed to be talking to the CEO. I'm like, cool. But then you just said yourself that you didn't. I told you I needed this spot tonight. That's not what you called me with. It's a wrap. You just said yourself you wouldn't give me 24 hours. But Kay said that you said you would. So who's lying now? All right. And because you talk for so long, 40 minutes, an hour, which we know you want to do, let's stick to the points. I don't have a phone. That's one. Okay, one, I have two phones, right? Ironically, the police had my phone. They had my phone for the first three weeks, month that I've been home because it's quote-unquote evidence. So I had to wait to get my phone He 30 me, That's though, one. right? <laughs> he, he knew that was me on the other number because we had already We're going to touch on me. ICE. I could show that, too. All right, now let's, let's, we talking about, all right, now we talking Proof. about lying. All right, this is March 26th, Friday, right? He said I spoke to him. He said he didn't know the number. Four days after the P.O. first hit me. This is me on the Look at that. See all that? See, Thursday? Yeah, Queen Slip beat ARP's ass already. Yo, hit me. And it's no. Proof is a motherfucker, okay? You did all that talking about showing proof, but the only thing you did was show my phone. 
show up my half of my phone number. You didn't show no messages. So I'm gonna show y'all the messages. Cause that's that's the truth. Not our opinions, not what you want to sit there and spin your narrative to the universe. That's not it. Okay, okay. Flight. Let's address the flight issue. I didn't know where I was flying out of because I didn't know where I was gonna be. I'm getting my parole transferred to the state, of course, where my daughter is and where I'm from. Okay. This process takes some time. You said flip bill. <laughs> That's why I've been here. You, I, I'm not going to sit here and tell everybody where I've been, how I've been, but bro, the me not having money thing, like that's that's not a thing, bro. It's ridiculous. The me not that the me not having money thing is ridiculous because you paid me money. <laughs> and even if it wasn't that much money, which it wasn't, I mean, bro, money now. Now, now we're gonna try to make it about being money. I went to jail for getting money. It's in my paperwork. But the truth is, money is not the issue. Lying I'm on his heels. You ain't issue. watching. You lied. You've been lying. I have not told one lie on you yet, brother. And I'm not going to. I'm not gonna lie to try to make you seem worse. But that's what you do because you don't Files. want to say the truth. We kept yes, the file. You out, got paranoid. Oh, my heart been dropped from when you called me and told me you got an issue. I'm practicing as much patience as I can. Your heart been dropped, yeah. scary ass this nigga. Wow. And this is getting way out of control. I'm not gonna sit here and be long winded. Uh, he got it deleted off YouTube. He, he ratted again, so okay. I can't. That's why I'm showing y'all here. The flyer. The flyer. You said, I paid this money for my flyer, so I'm going to promote the flyer. Now you're trying to make something else up. When reality had nothing to do with promoting the flyer, you didn't want to say nothing until the face off. That's why you Stack got mad ones, you enough stupid. to start retweeting fans saying negative things. Because you was upset that I leaked it. Period. Why you ain't saying nothing about that? That's what the reality is. That's the issue here. We wouldn't be here if you didn't see that I said something. You was willing to book me on the next one. I was willing to sacrifice that bread because I was willing to do the right thing for my own fans, bro. If I, did, if I wanted to get booked with you again, I wouldn't have said nothing. Simple as that. I knew you was going to act like this if I said something. I was willing to take that, bro. I didn't think you was going to jump out the window and get on some real girly bitch ass shit sitting here. Fuck that nigga. You talking about give him something. Fuck that nigga. Try and slander me on a way that I didn't try to slander you, bro. I just tried to say don't slander me. This was not no campaign against you. What the fuck do I have to have against somebody that paid me? And giving shit, man. Really fuck that sense. nigga. But since I'm such a clown and all this narrative you're trying to paint while you sit there with your fucking four eyes in front of computer screens for an hour talking about all kinds of shit that you think can derail the people's minds from the truth. The truth is, you booked Jones for sure. He deleted it off YouTube, y'all. He flagged it. I don't need the bread, which is why you did it in that way. But see, God is good. You can't outdo God. God put this hundred bands in my lap for me to grab. God willing, if it's meant for me. But you think I'm going to abandon a guaranteed bag, whether no matter how small it was with you, for a maybe bag over here? I'm going to dub the battle for that. That don't even make sense, bro. But you trying to paint that narrative is why I even said anything, bro. Period. And I ain't gonna be, I, I'm not going to sit here all day with you, bro. Anybody can believe what they want to believe. The truth is, we ain't never seen none of your kids. We don't even know if you heterosexual, nigga. We ain't never even seen you next to a female, nigga. Your, your, your league exists because of smack rappers. Of niggas that you bring over there that have light and you do big battles every now and then which keep you a factor. Their brand wasn't, you ain't on URL's level, nigga. That's why you hating on them. That's why you hating on me because you mad that I'm about to go over there and shine. When you looked at it as like I was your guy. I've only battled on you the last year, right? And Will, uh, fucking, um, now excuse me, you wanted me to be your flagship guy. And you lightweight upset. Well, I tell you what, brother, I'm going to pray for you and anybody else that's dumb enough to believe your nonsense because the reality is, from the heart, my heart is pure, so I pardon yours. I really try to do the right thing. If somebody's dumb enough to think me contacting a weirdo like him, knowing that he would jump out the window just because of what? For no reason? To cover what? What, what, would, be, what would I be accomplishing in doing that, bro? So, I don't know. I mean, but...
people that don't really see it practically. Wait and see. You're going to see the new battles, okay? Hopefully, you know, his, his rat tactics don't work. Oh, and this is the last thing. Bro. I went live, right? This nigga went and got my page shut down, bro. Screen, but yeah, I left this here just because I knew this was going to happen, honestly. So here you say, you know, what, what day was this? What day? Oh, what a coincidence. I didn't April 1st. I post six posts. Same before. day. Got my shit taken down. Got my go Same thing. He got that so video taken that down. Thing. Got my bl live block reporting my page. Live. He the only nigga that did this. I only put up battle posts. I had to put up no other posts. So... You, not only are you dry snitching, it's wet. You wet snitching, basically. You sitting here talking about, oh, well, he must have a bad pee up. Really, bro? So you want them You want them to not let me do nothing. You want them to be mad at me. For what? For trying to feed my family? For coming home and just trying to perform? For being honest and upfront and letting you know, hey, I got a situation that I got to iron out? Just so y'all know, just so it's fully clear, yes. I was meeting with that person for the first time. That was the first time I was meeting them. They text me, you need permission. You can't just leave the state. I told him that soon as I found that out. Wet snitch. When I met with the person, they were a lot cooler. They talked to me in a way that let me know what decisions I need to make without being a fucking rat and saying what a fucking law enforcement officer said and did with me. Wow. If any of y'all jacking that, I don't I don't know, man. But I will never speak on another man's legal situation knowing it could affect him going to prison. Jones, why? I will never speak <laughs> on another man's family. Fucking idiot. I have before and I apologize when I did. I was out of pocket. You know what I'm saying? I was angry. But I don't sit here making campaigns out of people's families and trying to low blow people, especially that I've done business with, that I've had respect for. Putting no hands on a rat. Respect, but that'll show you the level of respect. That man didn't pick up the phone after Friday. I tried to call him. He's the type of nigga that wants to go to the internet so he can get some views and some fame and some clout and more people to go to subscribe to his channel and watch more of his battles and all of these nerd tactics that motherfuckers is doing. I've been here 20 years, y'all. Y'all ain't never seen me in a situation nothing like this. The only one that was close is Lush One. <laughs> and that's because Lush sniffed up all the money. That's it. He paid me four racks when I was supposed to get 10. He paid other people nothing. It's the only reason we even had an issue. I've never had no other issue like this, bro, because it's not an issue. I go out of my way to try and do the right thing, man, especially nowadays because I know I owe it to the universe. Excuse me. I owe it to the universe. I owe it to my daughter. I owe it to my own karma to not be up here capping and fronting and doing stuff for what? What do I gain out of that, y'all? I don't understand how anyone could even believe the shit that he said. This is the last attempt. You see, this is Monday. I hit him. You got to look. I'm not trying to make this an issue. We've done good business in the past. I think I've transparent people up front say I spoke with my business people. Pew, pew. I'm trying to have a conversation so we can avoid further complications. This is in response to him saying that he don't want me to say nothing until the face off. And I'm like, bro, it's Monday. You know what I'm saying? I told you give me 24 hours on Friday. On Saturday, you told me no. On Saturday, though, you hit niggas up and trying to find out what's up, but you're not hitting me though. And and. This is Monday, and I finally just put my own pride aside and said, you know what, let me just hit him and, you know, try to resolve it. Because I know what he does on the internet and all that. He's going to just try to make it your fault and then try to throw you under the bus. So, again, I'm attempting a final time to reach out. You have the right to zip him up. Business, however you feel, hey, but I'm not performing. And if I'm not performing, I'm letting my people know, basically. You know what I'm saying? People booking tickets. You know, it's a week in advance, and you, you're not even promoting who you replacing? So why can't I just rock? You know what I'm saying? What's the problem? If I'm saying that I'm going to do it, you know what I mean? Like, but, you know, thank God it didn't happen this way. But either that. way, it's all good. God bless y'all. I will see y'all on that stage. If any of y'all thinks this is ammunition for rum, go ahead. You can try to use all this shit, bro. It's all good. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And it's all good. I only got to address this because of the fact that I know some of y'all it's jacking it, because y'all don't know. So I had to put the proof. All right? I'll see y'all later. Jones has the audacity to tell me when he calls me Monday. When he calls me Monday. When he calls me Monday. Like Wednesday, I guess, serious shit to HRP, like I can come now. Yo, 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 I'm good now, I'm good now.
Your own wall. You seen that? Text me Saturday morning saying that you have problems traveling. Notice who hit who first, though, You're right? A friend, not a business person, not some associate. Hold on, let's You're bring that back. Let's bring is that back. Telling the league owner let's bring that, that you have back. problems traveling on Saturday. Problem. What would I have? What would I have to gain by that? Let's bring now, that back. Now, if he's trying to drag and people are trying to drag the narrative that it's like I was your guy, but I will. I'm sorry, you. It's I hold Ben Sam, but that is short, man. Especially nowadays, because I know and they're doing stuff for what? What do I gain? They, that was the first time I was meeting them. They text me, you need permission. You can't just hold leave. Hold up, y'all. Hold up, y'all. Me, y'all jacking that. I don't. Ben Sam, just Sam, trying to get to the good lust part. Less one. one. <laughs> that's because less sniffed up all the money. That's it. He paid me four racks when I was supposed to get ten. You know what I'm saying, y'all? And that's it. Whoop. All right, this is what I was trying to get to. Let's see that. Wolf, text me Saturday morning saying that you have problems traveling. Why are you on Wolf? Why are you texting Ice? And notice who hit who first, right? You're a friend, not a business person, not some associate. Your friend is even telling the league owner what that friend does have that? problems traveling on Saturday. That you have problems traveling on Saturday. He's trying to do all of these Why things. Are you texting like, him when so you already ridiculous. said no on well, Friday? A lot of y'all You already know. said no. So why the fuck is he asking? See that? This shit without the proof and sitting there talking, talking to convince you for an hour? Yeah, it might work for some of y'all. But I knew he would do that and try to go low as possible. But the truth of the matter is, <laughs> bro, you just a snake, bro. And like you said, you ain't got no love in your heart for these people that's doing these battles and putting their soul on the stage for you. You ain't got no love for none of us. And that's what this proves. Or Daylight wouldn't have had this issue. Or JC wouldn't have had this issue. Or Rosenberg Raw wouldn't have had this issue. I could keep going. Or Beasley wouldn't have this issue. Smack wouldn't have none Exactly. Of we, all, we all know. Ice hit him up now, about me first because he was trying to infiltrate. Well, long, long. Yeah, if you can make it sound convincing when you do all of those little spin offs to make you focus on things that aren't the point. Oh, the flight. Oh, he, he made it difficult. He's being a diva. It's finding any type of way to bring me down, bro. And it's crazy because I already was down. I just came back from being down. This is supposed to be my get back. The niggas trying to take that away. Why? Because you don't want to admit the facts to the fans. Just trying to make it my fault. Why it got to be my fault? I can't control these situations. It's not my fault that I got to sign the PO at the last minute. Brother, I'm sorry that you feel this way, but no. I did not have a secret deal with URL. They genuinely came to me and let me know about something, and I was already fully committed to battling with you. Otherwise, why would I be calling and going back and forth and doing all this for what? I would have just dubbed you and just said, my PO said I can't battle. Why would I be trying to go back and forth and get you to talk to her? And guess what? Did you ever talk? Oh, and P.S., okay? Wolf Love doing my real wounds, you know what I'm saying? There's no friend that would ever hit up somebody that's giving you a bag and, and an opportunity to shine. And try to sabotage you the night before. What angle? Haters and rats? What are you talk talking about? Ice. Ice has always been like that. He wants to be the guy. <laughs> and guess what? That's why I don't fuck with Ice. That's why when you've seen our battle, he said a whole bunch of weird personal shit that the whole gang when we got home is like, what's up with this nigga? Niggas know how Ice get down, bro. Ice be on some grimy shit. But that's, <laughs> that's the most snaky shit I ever heard. You gonna hit the nigga that booked the battle and say, oh, by the way, I don't think he's gonna be able to make it? What you was trying to make it you, huh? Damn, Ice, that's how you coming, Wolf? Oh, you wanted him to book you instead, so you like, hey, Jones can't make it, but uh, I mean... I mean, hey. Wow, Wolf. We gonna chop when we get to the hood about that, buddy. But see, see how AMP is? Sneaky. Get one to go against the other. Point through, sprinkle a little discontent in the in the camp, huh? It's all right because that was some snake shit. And real niggas and real friends don't do shit like that. Ice is not my friend. He's a wolf because he was in the same clique that I've been in since I was 16. That is why we are, have affiliation. That's it. All right. He's done many snaky things, and it's the last straw. I'll never fuck with that nigga again. 
But anyway, in terms of uh, everything else, just in case y'all didn't know, I mean, the homeless thing and all that. I mean, people that don't know about POs and, and parole, I'm not going to get into the details, but this is where I've been spending the majority of my time. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, this is my partner behind me. I'm not going to show him. But, um, you know, we in here trying to do big things, open facilities, buildings. You know what I'm saying? This goes all the way down here. And those that have seen me since I've been home have seen me in here. This is where I've been at. In the studio, in the lab, cooking up, working, all right? Home team. Stop ratting on me, man. See y'all later, man. So. So now what? Is this a rooming house? No, nigga, this is a building. This is a studio. This is my studio. What are you talking about, bro? It's my people's shit. I'm a partner. I've been coming here for years. This is where y'all see me at when I'm in the bay. I'm always here. Niggas is crazy. Actually, that's moot calling. I'm about to answer it on this other phone. Yeah, so like, I mean... Crazy, bro. Like I don't, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? If people still trying to, you know, slander and, and do all that type of stuff, that's fine, man. I mean, people hated Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't. I know everybody's not gonna like me, but what I'm not gonna do is stand back and let people try to paint my character as like I'm some sleaze ball and all this corny ass cartoon. Like, what are you talking about, bro? I never even capped for nothing on the internet. I got all kinds of real gangster shit I could use for clout. I don't do none of that, bro. I can't have diamonds in my teeth. <laughs> Niggas hate it. Nigga, I've been living on two coasts for the last 10 years. Like, what are you talking about? I was driving, like, Benz's, Lexus, like, whatever, man. It's just all right, man. Niggas is just haters, bro. They really don't want to see you do good. And and that's why I put that part in there with, I don't care about you. The niggas don't care about you, bro. Niggas really hate you and it'll be snake you. And it'll be your own. Look at your, your own, your own so-called niggas. You see that shit? Wow. But anyway, I'm sure somebody screenshotted that shit. Your, your, your boy, um, ARP, another rap promoter. Got it taken off uh, YouTube, of course. We knew he was going to do that. But I just want y'all to see that. Cause that right there says everything. If you won't, if you ain't got nothing to hide, then why you getting niggas videos deleted? Why are you reporting people's pages so they can't go live? This is the first time I'm be able to I'm able to go live since since he blocked my page. It's wild, bro. It's wild. But I love y'all. I love you even if you don't love me back. You know what I'm saying? But I'll see y'all in a minute. And if you think this is going to distract from what I'm about to do to Rum Nitty, you don't know me. You don't understand what you're dealing with. Life is serious. For real. Anyway, let's see what y'all saying down here and I'll click this off. Can you get featured? Yeah, definitely. Anybody that want to tap in, you know what I'm saying? Tap in. You know what I mean? In terms of all that other stuff, man, in terms of all the, uh, the cases, you know, the case stuff and all that. Y'all could believe the gimmicks and the hype all y'all want, man. But y'all don't realize I sound like police. You know what I'm saying? Real people know Sirius Jones ain't no creep. And I ain't never done nothing creepy to nobody. I'm upfront and honest. Since I see a couple of y'all coming in here, I'll, I'll take a couple calls. You said you gave him too much ammo. <laughs> nah, man, this shit ain't ammo, bro. Like, the truth stands still, man. What up, son? What up? You say, man? Fine. Yeah, it's What's all this? good over here. It's all good, man. It's all good. UK repping. Salute, yeah. bro. Yeah, hey, we man. out here. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the, 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 Did you the, just the, see the, that? Did you just see that video? Yeah, I saw all of that, man. I saw all of that. It's, what it's, you think, honestly? It's deep. It's deep because as, as grown men, you're supposed to holler at everybody and just go ahead and talk. You've seen I tried you to holler, that. right? Yeah, You've no, seen I've that. Seen it. I've seen it. The worst thing about all of this is for me, right, what I get, because I followed your I followed your your whole style from from way back. And right. you've always been you've always been real. 
always been real and always so look, bro. You know what I mean? This is what it is. And it's a weird thing because, I mean, maybe people just on a different planet where they would just do their own thing or do something just, that's just crazy wild. But I'm, I'm looking at you as a person almost like I know you. No, dis no, no, no. Salute. Where the case would be, no, you know no what I mean? Disrespect. But I know, I, I know where you come from and I know, and I know if you're this, <laughs> you're kind of like me because if you're explaining something, you have to explain from top to, to bottom so people understand where you're coming from. That's fact. I and, I, and I get that from you, you understand? But ARP, he's been caught up in, in a whole bunch of other shit from, from past anyway. From and time. Yeah, you know I mean? And I've seen that. I don't know whether, I, I can't go as, go on to say that, you know, he's maybe jealous of the URL stuff and everything along those lines. I, I don't think so, but I just think that he may want to have that, that, that legacy about him. But, it, you know what I mean? For, for me, on a personal level, I think he's going about it the wrong way, to be honest. I mean, sometimes you can, you can, be, as, you can be the smartest nigga in there, but you can be the stupidest nigga at the same time, you know what I mean? So, for me, I hear fully what you're saying, bruv. A hundred percent. And the way you've structured it, it's almost like I'm saying, "Boy, this is definitely this is this is typical serious. This is typical serious." I know you get that, and I understand that 100. So you know what? You know I had to clap back, that, man. Nah, but you know what? For real, all, all I've got to say about that is to just keep it moving and just That's all. bypass all it. You've explained what you've had to explain to, so people heard it. People are taking it on board. You know what I mean? It's just down to it's down to ARP to approach you properly as a man and do this thing there properly. You, you're running a business. You're a grown ass man. Don't do it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think I, I can't understand why ARP would obviously let certain things escalate rather than just say, "All right." He wanted this, bro, because this is this is how people get traffic, bro, and attention. They, he wanted this. Yeah, but you don't. You could get attention other ways. I don't understand it. You don't get attention from. Have you ever company. seen me get attention this way? No. <laughs> Say nothing. Say nothing. <laughs> That's all I, you know what I'm say saying? Nothing, bro. Bro. Say nothing. Listen, God ain't kill shit, man, no matter what. You know what I mean? Even if you Ooh, get old or whatever the case would be, I've still got 100% respect for you. Never 100%. that, nigga. Never but been 3 old, never going to be. Not going to listen. Not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, real nah. real. Not going to happen, bro. You know what I mean? Little little though, bro. Saying, real recognize real, you get me? That's all it is at the minute. Yeah? So, no doubt. that's me. Yeah? And with that. God bless you, brother. All right, peace. Peace out. Mm. All right, you can shut this thing off. I don't know how you do that. I can still watch the video. You know, I can't do it on here neither. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the, like, when I press the button on here, it don't show oh, it. Oh, man, you're supposed to do your homework on them thing there, man. Oh, uh, man, it's a new phone, man. You know I'm a bum. I got no phones. <laughs> I'm homeless. You know what I mean? Nah, I hear that. You know, homeless people don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> nah, on the real, on the real. Well, Jones man, is deceitful. Be... I'm deceitful. <laughs> no, I I mean, I mean, actually, oh, while man. I'm here, I'll have to say yeah. if I was gonna go by um, what you've done in, t in terms of the scene, I think what you've done to Math, he deserved it 100 percent because he was getting a, like a complete dickhead. And they, like, it, it's, the, it's the same thing, bro. It's yeah. the same thing. It he he, he dragged a negative, for, uh, excuse me, a narrative for the world. The world jacked it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. He must be the real one because he sucker punched me. That must mean I'm a sucker or oh, something, that's, right? That's, yeah, no, so that's some, that's some dark. I didn't even that, publicize all the all the other stuff. But once I finally did, years later, when I put that together in the same way, like a, a little short film, little blog, yeah. giving y'all the whole story, it's but like then exactly, it changes. Exactly, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But his but his story, he tried to do that, but it's just so many different holes in it. But then the problem is yeah. with, with math. The problem with his math, he's done this before. When he did that to those, you know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. that is always going to have that. He's always going to have that. And, and, and what's crazy is what they say, um, what's the saying goes? Like, you know a man and his deeds, you know what I'm saying? If yeah, you look yeah, at yeah. this guy, just, that's all this guy does, man. He's got thousands well, that's, of that's blogs. That's But that's all he's got. He's that's what he does. I mean, he, he complained. He'd he, he, um, he been on, he's blogging as, as per usual. He's he blogging about what he's done for the culture and everything else and everybody's just kind of not kind of sleeping on him and all the rest of it but not that we're sleeping on it we appreciate what he's done for the culture but at the end of the day his, his, his action speaks a lot more than what he's actually done what he's supposed to do you know right, what I mean? right. a man would only recognise him alone for what he did to those those for me was the you one you want to know what's hilarious bro you want to know what's hilarious 
I actually had a motherfucking fight in jail because of a nigga thinking that I was him. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you see, this one. Priceless, what's up, Pete? What's happening, Priceless? <laughs> My pet friend, man. That's what I'm Real one. Yeah, yeah nah, true. nah. Like somebody <laughs> thought I was him, right? Cause they cause they didn't know like the difference. You know, it was a dude that just thought I was him. So oh, the dude on. the dude called himself um like trying to get some cloud off me because he thought I'm the guy that sucker punch people. So he thought what? I didn't correct him. I didn't even correct him. I was just sitting there like yeah, you know what I mean? I, I let it I let it go until it happened. And then I did my thing on him, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Paul. I see but but you know what I'm saying? It's crazy, bro. But you know, <laughs> definitely, we definitely in a position where we had a different place in the world, and I realized that. You know what I mean? So I don't take it personal. I just did what I had to do just for my fans, just yeah, so y'all can. You know what I'm saying? Now that's real, man. Listen, uh, I'm a fan of battle rap, 100. Yeah. percent I'm not mm -hmm. a fan of the bullshit that's surrounding it. You know what I mean? Right. I don't. Right. I don't deal with all of that. You know what I mean? If you're gonna go there and you speak your bars, you, you do your thing, innit? I want to see that. I don't want to yeah. see any bullshit surrounding it after that. I really don't. But I think well, you I know what? Maybe a lot. You're of, the minority, maybe a lot of bro. Backers. Maybe a lot of back. You know what I mean? So, so directly, it's always going to be a case of they'll come and they'll bring that shit to the back to battle rap, and it will get cancelled because of, and you're not keeping it real. So at the end of the day, for me. Me personally, if you've got baggage that comes with your battle rap schemes and the rest of it, I'm not going to pay no form of attention to it. Because if you can spit, mm -hmm. you can spit. Mm -hmm. You don't need the, you do not need the bullshit that's surrounding it. And that's what's happening at the minute. Keep it 100% real. Mm -hmm. That's what ARP's not doing. ARP's not coming to approach you and say, look, you know what? Let's just deal with this before this gets out of hand. Let's get the truth. Nobody, the nobody, truth. Wants, nobody wants to do that when yeah, the whole point it's, it's, is trying, trying to get the world... It's trife. It, and it's trife. And because of that, because of that, we we'll always get a bad press. Bad rap will always get bad press. Always get mm -hmm. bad press. It's a shame, though. And that's it's why we can't though. grow, man. Because well, we always got some shit in between us that making 100%. the culture look cheap and whack. 100%. 100%. You know what I mean? I went yeah. out and I've, and I've got the, the URL app. Do you know what I mean? Just to, but I don't. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a caffeine thing and all the rest of it. I just I don't even bother with the caffeine. I just go I, if it goes straight onto the URL, I'll catch it right. there because then I don't have to see any of the, the the nonsense that's actually starting before all of that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I can look mm -hmm. at. I can actually. I can actually look at back rap on the URL app and think, you know what? That's all right, or that's not all right. For example, um, what was the two on two? The recent two on two with the uh, Mook and. And Calico. Mm, that was, I don't that know. Was, that Murderland? Was, yeah, that was rubbish. I didn't rubbish. see it. I heard nah, it was kind of whack. It wasn't great. It wasn't Shout great. out to Mook. I'm Shout about to call him back. No, no, real talk. <laughs> Shout out to Mook. Shout out to Mook. You know what I mean? Because he's probably listening right now. He said now. it was rubbish, sure. <laughs> it was rubbish, but They didn't know what it's... I mean, look, because Mook's... Cause the First of all, RIP RP DMX, too, for sure. Say that again? All right, bro, look, I'm about to get out of here, big dog. I'm yeah, about no, to get no, out no. of here. How do you be, man? How do you be? Love is love, I'm though. Gonna come, I'm going to see if I can log out with this thing here. Right, but I'm going to come back. Do. I'm going to come back for y'all in a second. And do your business, man. I've got things to do here. I can't run around, man. I, got I respect money, it, bro. Man. One love, man. <laughs> Listen, right. one love and keep it real, bro. You know how it go already, yeah? Sir. All right, peace. All right. He said, hip, hip, cheerio. You stupid. See, he know how to get out of here. <laughs> love your energy. I love you back. I love you back. But anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. I just wanted to show y'all that. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna chop it up with a couple of y'all, but um, I see um, you know, shit going on on my phone. My shit going crazy. Hold on. I'm trying to read what you say. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Respect to you, K. Do respect. Period, man. Respect to all of y'all, man. And I appreciate y'all coming through. I'll be back soon, man. You know what I mean? I got to get ready to get this 100 bands, God willing. You know what I mean? But I just want to address this. I'm going to put this up on my gram. I'm going to put, um, I'm gonna put uh, you know, this on wherever I could put it, that he won't fucking flag it. <laughs> but uh, I'll talk to you in a little while. One love, man. Life is serious. Told y'all.